It's easy to make your own jewelry using lampwork beads because we have a bunch of different special findings that you can combine with your art glass to make it really simple and beautiful for resale or to wear yourself. So let's take a look at some of our findings. These are grommets that fit inside the bead holes and you use Starbond glue and just put a little tiny amount to glue it inside the bead. And this is important because it can help you create beautiful interchangeable necklaces using different styles of chain. It also protects your beads from wear and tear because you don't want them to get chipped around the hole there when your chain is sliding against it. And it also protects the chain itself if there might be any kind of abrasive burrs inside the glass then you don't have to worry about it, you are good to go. Now, I love using bead caps to create earrings and other types of jewelry, and there are so many different types available. These are just a very smooth, basic style that you can combine with any art glass beads to reduce the hole size so that it doesn't slosh around on your head pin, and also to give it some flair. I love the way that they add a little bit of drama to art glass designs and they don't take away anything. So I also use some spacer beads here for these as bead caps and some decorative ear wires. And the ear wire just adds a little bit more of a professional look when you're creating jewelry because you can use different motifs that work together with your art glass beads. I also love these earrings. This is one of my favorite styles. I pop these on and off depending on what my outfit is. If I wanna change it, change out the flowers, you know, to a match and you can use a little spacer bead in front with your hoop earrings. These are another idea of using bead caps in a different way. I turn the bead cap upside down to fit inside the bead hole there to reduce the size down so that it would fit onto my wire. And I attach some tassels here, and those are from Halstead. I love all the different finished tassels that we have, and they make it so fun to just add a little bit more length and movement to any type of art glass earring. Now this collar necklace uses a bale that you have to attach a wire wrap to. So for example, that one has a loop that the head pin just comes up through the bead and loops onto the bale. We also have a style of bale that is a glue bale. And this type, you'll want to choose the size that's as big as possible to fit onto the back of your glass cabochon. You'll sand it a little bit and add your glue. And for example, these that you can see here are a little bit small for this type of pendant. We used a larger one on the glass that we're showing there. And something to keep in mind when you're using bales is that you'll want to choose a chain that fits through the bale. So again, this makes an interchangeable style, but it also um, allows you to change different types of chain depending on your outfit or your sale. The Omega necklace here at the end is a beautiful example of threading through a large art glass bead and it has a little bit more body so it can stand um, a little bit more you know stand up a little bit more on the neck and of course you could use another type of chain here if you wanted it to have more of a drape and i used a very large snake chain with the glass beads here at the front and some of our spacer beads to show you how you can combine metal beads as a little accent in between your glass beads and it has a beautiful look so before i let you go let's take a look back at the beads and i'll let you know the artist who created them these are by Stephanie Sursich. These are by Sheila Davis. Stephanie Sursich made these flowers as well. Age of Oz, our 2018 Lampworker of the Year here at Halstead, made these. This beautiful bead is created by Chris Scheibel. We also have a lovely example over here by Jerry Warhoftig. These beads are by Age of Oz here in the front, the large hollows. And this cabochon is by Tammy Ray Walter.